Dr. Tate Mahwe is the MEC of Education in the Free State since 2009. His vision and great leadership in Free State Kwakwa has led to the establishment of PROMETS program, funded jointly by Free State Department of Education and Investec CSI, run by Kutwanung Center for Maths, Science and Technology to boost the quality of maths and science results in rural, peri-urban areas and townships in South Africa. Today we are here with the MEC of Education, Kamakwe. Uh, he's been the MEC for I think three terms already. Yes. And Dr. Mahwe, you thank you very much, you know, for making up time that we can meet, you know, this afternoon. Uh, I remember 2010 yes. when you invited us to come to Free State. Yes. And the first place was Kwadwa. Yes. Ke, with the different yes. and the Department of Education. Yes. Why Free State? And why Kwadwa in particular? Well, uh, if you remember, in 2009, we yes. ran an election campaign. And then uh, for the first time, I was asked to be MEC for education. And then when I looked uh, in uh, the past rate, I realized that uh, mathematics and science were a failing subject at the time. And one area that was not doing very well like generally in South Africa, people talk about the rural areas. So I said to myself, you know what? I need to prove that there's nothing wrong with a black child. I need to go out of my way to try and get as much support as possible to make sure that we support these young people, boys and girls, as much as we possibly can. So we were very, very lucky that uh, when Fanny Titi came, he told us about pro mm -hmm. And then we had a very short meeting mm -hmm. in my office. He said, Tate, um, I want to help you with your vision mm -hmm. of improving mathematics and science. Mm -hmm. And then um, I will put money if you are prepared to put money. And even at that time, I did not even study yet the budget of education. I didn't know where we were going to get the money. But I told myself that this is the way to go. And I chose Kwakwa because it was a rural area. Mm -hmm. It was a presidential nodal point, okay. the most poverty-stricken area. And I, I said to myself, it is true because I know through me that education can deal decisively with poverty. And it was my contribution to fight the poverty that was here. And we came in here, you supported us, and the rest is history. When we, uh, for the first time when we introduced, when we had the first child who got seven, level seven, who was black, mm. was from this area. Sure. And they were in your program. Oh, thank you. And then, uh, and then I saw that this is possible. Yes. And it just made me mad. It just made me to push this thing more and more. Yes. And that is why when you call me, I come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because really for me, it has proven the theories that I've always had, that if all people are given equal opportunity, they will be able to succeed. And then uh, Ferro Vult was wrong when he said, black people cannot master mathematics and science. The first children to give us 100% in physical science and maths came from your program. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your program was giving us a pass rate of 100% continuously. Mm -hmm meaning all the learners that came. Mm. You even remember I said to you, Let's, let me just integrate them now. Let's not bring only the children that we think have got good potential. Yes, yes. We started even identifying those who are weak. Yes. And even those when we were subsequent years, even when we put those who were weak, yes. when by the time they finished in grade 12, they were amongst the stars. Yeah. Now I understand that uh, uh, we are still doing a research of children that went through this program. Over the past, what, 12 years now? Yeah, 12 years now. Over the past 12 years. And many of them are doctors. Yeah, many yeah. of them are engineers. No many of them are working for Festec and big banks. Uh, they're working for, uh, what is this, Metropolitan. Or this young boy who is a risk manager now. Uh, the child accountants. Mm. They are everything. You. And you know, we have taught them something that go and study and when come back, to your own area, mm. 
and develop it. Correct. And you can see around, when you walk around, yeah. you can see there's a big improvement in the number of houses that are beautiful now, mm -hmm. compared to when you started. Mm -hmm. And every time when I look, I look at the impact, I don't just look at the pass rate, I look at what is the impact of this in the community. You can see we've got now more black business in, in this community. We've got more beautiful houses. Uh, the schools have improved. So Kutano has really, you can claim indeed, that uh, you have contributed uh, huge, uh, hugely in uh, the performance of the province of the Free State. No, that's great. You are the only MEC out of the MEC, nine MECs of South Africa yes. who said to me in 2009 that if somebody puts money into this program, as the department, you also put money. Tell me more about that. <laughs> no, we, 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 we are risk takers. Yes. You know, we are risk takers. Yes. As I told you earlier that uh, when Fanny TT said to me, Mr. Fanny TT, when he said to me, uh, I'm prepared to put money, mm. will you put something? Yes. I said yes. Yeah. Uh, later, when Sal Ramaphosa says to me, um, I want to help you with infrastructure. If I put money, will you put money? I said yes. And every time when I say yes, yes. I don't know where to get the money. True. Right? Yeah. I remember you told me. <laughs> but, but I always go back mm. to my officials and say, don't you think this is important? Mm. What can be done? Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I understand finance. I was an MEC for finance. Mm -hmm. So we are able to sit down, mm -hmm. cut the corners. Let's stop this problem. It's not yielding the results mm -hmm. that we want. Yeah. Let's support this one and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we've been able to do that. Lastly, if you were to be the Minister of Education, proof your vision, your mission. So I think if I become a minister, my focus will actually try to make education relevant Correct. to the economy. Correct. Uh, but also emphasizing, of course, on mathematics and science. Mathematics or STEM subjects forces you to be creative. True. You can't be good in mathematics True. without being called creative. True. Mathematics forces you to, to collaborate with others. And if you look at these young people that you are yeah. talking to, all of them are working in teams. I know. So it's forcing them to work in teams. Mm. So these are the things that we will focus on. Education system that supports the economy. The economy must grow. When we say our economy, our education system is doing well, it must be measured by the success that we're making in the economy. Ndate Mahwe, thank you very much. Thank you. Keep up doing the good work. Thank you so much. I still have potential funders that would like to come to this province. Oh, yes. And uh, most of them don't have the full budget. Oh, yes. And uh, I think that the promise still stands that the yes. Department of Education may not have money, yes. but we will do something. We will do something, thank definitely, you. definitely. Thank you. This program is made possible through a public-private partnership which is endorsed by the Public Finance Management Act.